News this morning in the case against Casey Anthony. She, of course, the Florida mother accused of killing her two-year-old daughter, Kaylee. Her attorneys have filed motions saying the prosecutors cannot prove it was first-degree murder. What is this new evidence? Here's Andrea Canning. Good morning, Diane. And the state released over a thousand new pages of documents this week that show some inconsistencies in FBI findings relating to the scientific evidence in the case. The defense and Casey's parents are calling it a major breakthrough, and they're using that information to fire back. But the prosecution maintains Casey did it, and as of right now, they are not dropping any of the charges. Casey Anthony's attorney, Todd Macaluso, is so convinced she didn't kill her daughter, Kaylee, he asked this week for the murder charge and the death penalty to be dismissed. Not a single hair fiber, not a single fingerprint, not a single speck of DNA that in any way connects her to the crime scene or the scene where her daughter was found. The FBI concluded the duct tape found on Kaylee's mouth and tape found in the Anthony's garage may have come from the same role, but newly released state documents show otherwise. Extensive analysis was done, and it's mostly a microscopic and a chemical analysis, and they do not match. The reports also show DNA from a lab technician contaminated that duct tape. In the report, the FBI found no evidence of a match between fibers at the crime scene and Casey's car. But this FBI email revealed there could be an incriminating photo of a stain found in the trunk. The email says, if you look closely at this photo, there appears to be an outline or a silhouette of a child in a fetal position. Any suggestion that there was a body in the trunk is junk science. But tests revealed signs of human decomposition in the trunk. And then there's Casey's own words. How do you explain some of these alleged lies that Casey has told? What I can tell you is that Casey Anthony is and was a wonderful mother. So why did she allegedly take so long then to report that her daughter was missing? We will provide an explanation at trial. A trial that is still months away. Her defense admits finding an impartial jury could be the biggest challenge of all. For Good Morning America, Andrea Canning, ABC News, New York. And the new records also included dozens of email exchanges between Cindy Anthony, Casey's mother, and a private investigator. In one bizarre email, Cindy accuses Casey's ex-fiance's father of having weird religious beliefs that might have led him to human sacrifice rituals. So, Diane, so many twists and turns in this case, but really so few answers in the end. Uh, well, uh, but clearly they're going to tackle the science as the main way of defending her. This is the defense's defense, the science, that they're going to prove that she didn't do it through that. That's what they, they claim. All right. Thanks to you, Andrea.